الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله as we mentioned prior to this that joining the ties of kinship being kind to one's relatives is from ibadah it's from worship because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders us to be kind to our parents, serve our parents, not to speak ill to our parents. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, in addition, along with Tawheed, He mentions subhanahu wa ta'ala in a command for us to be kind to our parents. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا And to your parents, be kind. You know, give them ihsan, the various types of ihsan, with being kind to them, or being obedient to them, taking care of their needs and their wants, being respectful towards them in every way and means that's possible. So likewise, we know that regarding the Sharia, that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us with something, then that's an act of worship. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibits us from something, then that's an act of disobedience. And likewise, this is the case on the tongue of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. وعن جبير بن مطعم رضي الله تلا عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا يدخل الجنة قاطع يعني قاطع الرحم متفق عليه نرد جبير بن مطعم رضي الله تلا عنه Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam said, the one who severs ties of kinship or relationship will not enter paradise. And this is in Bukhari and Muslim. This implies that such a person will be deprived of the pri privilege of entering uh, Jannah. And so, this is from the bab of wa'id. This is from the ways in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the threat of punishment for a particular sin. So that lets us know that what ahabatifillah, that this is one of the major sins by cutting the ties of kinship. And I know personally people May Allah forgive us and them and guide us and them. Who, when it comes to the right of their mother, they are completely absent. And they have, it wouldn't even be appropriate to describe it as shortcomings because they've abandoned their mother. And they've left her to the difficulty of the world and they see her and witness her in ill health and they see and witness her in poverty so this is a lesson for us Allah, to be the opposite of that because that's a great crime that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not only displeased with but has threatened a severe punishment that the person who does this does not enter paradise so it's imperative, Ahabatifillah, that you maintain the ties of kinship and that you strive your utmost. And while we're in the holy month of Ramadan, even be better. Call your parents more. Visit your parents more. Visit your aunts and uncles more. Visit your grandparents if they're still living more. Help them, assist them, encourage them more. Do good for them. Clean their homes serve them, help them in whatever way that you can. 
This is from the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who serve our parents and meet the rights of them. And may Allah forgive us of our many, many shortcomings. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of those who enter Jannah to Fardos. And may Allah protect us from the punishment of the grave and any and all forms of adab fi dunya wal akhirah. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana wa qina adab al-nar. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.